Hello, my name is Jane Fontaine. I'm an occupational therapist. I'd like to talk to you about the armadillo back, which is part of the next seating series by Dynamic Healthcare Solutions. The armadillo back came into being, if you will, um, for the need for kyphosis. And basically with um, some people that have a kyphosis, when they sit in the chair, really they're getting two spots of attachment. They're apex or the one uh, spinous processy and perhaps their ischial tuberosities or coccyx and nothing in between and they're not getting the support and you really don't want to support above the apex and push someone down so really in the end it's a small area between those two spots that needs to be supported and it sometimes can be hard to get to that so the armadillo was designed in order to create that shape from an off-the-shelf system and i'm going to go through that uh, momentarily from the design, however, there have been other uh, cases that it's actually worked really well with. So not just the posterior pelvic tilt kyphotic posture, but actually the opposite, the anterior tilt lordotic posture. It can also accommodate for that. And another area is for the bariatric user who may have um, a gluteal shelf that hits the back before their back does, and so end up searching for support. And so we have a way of allowing the gluteal shelf to go between, say, the back posts to get support of the back. So I've removed the foam interface so that I can show you the uh, aluminum shell, which helps describe how the armadillo works. It's basically made up of three um, sections that articulate with each other so that you're able to customize uh, an off-the-shelf system for your client. And as I mentioned, it can be for kyphosis, where I tip this book in, both in like that, or for low doses, so the opposite. The top goes 40 degrees anteriorly and 20 degrees posteriorly, and the bottom does 30 degrees in each direction. So you can do a combination of one or the other. The other thing you can do is, and I've loosened it ahead of time, is with the hardware that's attached to the uh, back posts, say I had somebody who's kyphotic, but I can also angle the entire back system. So by angling the hardware on the back, I can maybe get the back support to come right into the cushion. So I'm getting that support right from your sacrum area right into the lumbar curved um, support. So that's unique in that as well. There is a cutout here for prominent spinous processes so that they're not pushing up against something firm on an area that's at high risk. And you can add head supports here or here. So perhaps you don't want the top half. You don't have to, you can remove the top portion of the back and or for bariatric clients, you might remove the bottom completely so that the gluteal shelf can come out beyond uh, the back and yet the back support can be pushed forward and give support right to the back so that they're not searching for their back support. The back itself can be put in a little offset. So if I loosen, I can put it a little offset to one side or to the other, or I can put a 16 inch back into a 17 inch chair or an 18 inch chair. The armadillo comes with two interfaces that you can use to come between the aluminum shell and the client. One is made out of foam and the other is a Vicare interface. I'm going to talk about the foam interface first. It is a flat foam, so you're doing all the contouring with the aluminum shell. You can add lateral supports and there's another video describing how the lateral supports work. I removed this by just undoing the Velcro. For the video, I've removed the bottom part, but it actually cups underneath and this goes through, a little clip goes through the hole here. So it ho helps hold the cover in place once you've finished your um, setup. The foam itself is a two layer foam. So the, the layer against the aluminum shell is a polyurethane high density, meaning good quality foam. And then uh, close to the client is a viscoelastic and it's actually gel infused viscoelastic. It's the same uh, foam we use for the BioFit cushion because the gel embedded into the foam helps keep it cool because one of the downsides often with uh, foams is it's quite warm. So this actually helps keep it cool. The, the sizes that the armadillo comes in, it comes in um, 14 inches and 16 inches wide and then both of those are 16 inch high or length and then up to 24 inches wide and all of those from, 16, from 18 to 24 are 18 inches high. The armadillo back also comes with a Vicare interface. Be aware that the interface is not available in all territories where Next is sold. The cover is removable by one zipper that goes all the way around. It's made of a spacer fabric material allowing for breathability. 
underneath, you then find the Vicare interface. And just like the cushions, it's made up of sections. So I've got three sections per side, as well as three sections in the middle. The three on each side are, are accessed by a zipper, opening one se section at a time. So I can come in, change the shape of that section, so either more air or less air. And then the middle section is accessed just, there's a small hole that I can feel, and then I can access the air that way. So the middle often, if you want to remove air for, say, it's a very prominent spinous processy, and then I can build up the sections beside it so that I can offload that section. The nice thing about the Vicare interface is that not only am I getting the support and the shape from the uh, aluminum back, but I can then do more specific customization for the client. And if that client is changing over time, I don't have to get a whole new back because the deformity has progressed. I can then readjust the air to accommodate for deformities. As well as, as um, someone is um, uh, transferring into their system, this does accommodate for the shape that as it sat, sat down, it accommodates for that shape. It comes in a variety of sizes, uh, 14, 16, 18, and 20 in terms of the widths. You can still adjust the width in the back again, so I can put a 16 inch back into an 18 inch chair and I can offset it as I said. So you can do some real customization for your client uh, with an armadillo back with the Vicare interface.